Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing my second trimester recap. I am currently 33 weeks pregnant and I am barely getting around to it. It has taken me forever to get to, but here we are. Um, I wrote everything down so I don't, I didn't miss anything and I am just answering the same questions that I did in the first trimester recap, which I will link below. My total weight gain, um, I am at 28 weeks, I was 132 pounds. I started off at 108 pounds, so total I have gained 24 pounds. Um, I'm a little bit above my, my um, curve, but the doctor says that it's fine, she's not worried about it. Um, just because I've kind of like maintained um, being a little bit over so I'm I'm fine with it I'm not really concerned with my weight as much as I was with um, when I was pregnant with Kaden so as long as I'm like not going crazy over I'm um, good I started wearing maternity clothes at 16 weeks nothing fit me at that point um, I started to show at maybe 12 weeks my clothes um, and like my jeans and everything started getting really uncomfortable and you could tell like I had like a solid little belly happening. Um, so by 16 weeks, literally nothing, none of my um, bottoms fit. My top still I could wear, but um, as far as like maternity leggings and maternity jeans and stuff like that, um, I started wearing at 16 weeks. And I actually told my boss I was pregnant at 14 weeks. Um, just because people at that point, people had started to notice, um, the difference, I guess, in my belly. And I started having strangers come up and ask me and, um, coworkers at work by 16 weeks asking me if I was pregnant. So, um, I decided to tell my boss that I was pregnant at 14 weeks. That way I was able to tell her on my terms. Um, stretch marks. I did get more stretch marks in my second trimester um, and I did get more stretch marks with this pregnancy versus my last pregnancy. Um, with Cadence, I only had three stretch marks total, I can count them, on the right side of my belly. Um, for some reason, my babies tend to like the right side of my tummy better. They seem to like settle in right there. Um, and so this time I've noticed that I did, I, ha I don't know how many I have, but I could tell I got a lot more um, stretch marks on the right side um, and the left side still looks pretty nice and clear. How am I sleeping? Um, I am not sleeping very good. I have a lot of pelvic pain and so every time that I move I feel like my pelvic bone um, is gonna like break. I hear it cracking anytime like I switch sides from um, my left side to my right side. And so it wakes me up and I'm like in tremendous pain. So I wake up a few times um, throughout the night. And then also my hips start to hurt a lot, I guess with like the extra weight. Um, the same thing happened to me with cadence. I would get really like I would wake up because my hip would be really sore and I would have to turn. Um, and so just with the, the hip pain plus the pelvic pain, I'm not sleeping very good. Um, besides that, Cadence goes to sleep really late. Well, not really late, but she goes to sleep like um, between 9 and 10. And so I I work um, full time. I'm up in the morning at like 4 in the morning so that I can go and try to exercise. And then um, trying to put her to bed and doing her last feed after she falls asleep. That's like 10, between 10 and 11. I'm really only getting like five to six hours of sleep and then on top of that with all of the pain that I have um, I'm like a walking zombie but I know that it's gonna end soon <laughs> and then it'll be different problems um, not being able to sleep with a newborn so um, currently I am NOT sleeping very well <laughs> um, the best moment during my second trimester was doing the anatomy scan we had that done at 19 weeks um, and that's just like the routine scan that they do um, and they also can tell you the gender at that scan and so when they did the scan um, they just let me know baby was doing well um, 
So that was one of the best moments that I had during the second trimester. The other um, really exciting moment was at 15 weeks when we did the gender reveal. That was really exciting. Um, up to that point, I had thought, I swore I was having a boy because my symptoms felt different than the last pregnancy that I had with Cadence, but it ended up being a girl. And so we were just really excited to be able to um, put a gender to the baby. That's always really exciting. And then I got to get a better idea, start thinking about names, um, start, you know, going through Cadence's old clothes and stuff like that and like figuring out what we need and stuff like that. And so um, those were the two best moments of my second trimester. Have I felt movement and when? Um, yes, I started feeling movement at 16 weeks and um, that's a lot earlier than when I felt movement with Cadence. When I was pregnant with Cadence, I didn't feel her moving until about 23 weeks. So it was like really shocking to feel the baby at 16 weeks and at first you just kind of feel like that slight little flutter. I feel like it's like, um, like a butterfly in your stomach. Um, but towards the end of my second trimester, I could totally feel the baby moving all over. Um, she doesn't have like a set time schedule when she moves like Cadence did. I always knew she, Cadence would, oh, she, I knew she was going to be a night owl because she would always move, um, between like 10 and 11 and then between like two and three in the morning. That's when like her movements were the most. Oh, and then, um, at 11, 11 a.m. like right around my lunchtime at work she would start to like go crazy moving in there with this baby she doesn't really have a pattern but she moves so much I thought Cadence moved a lot but she moves so much and it's just for, like sporadically throughout the day um so it's I love to fill her it's really exciting when she moves um but she definitely moves a lot <laughs> food cravings the only thing that I've craved is McDonald's. Um, I crave Big Macs and I think it's because there's a McDonald's like right across the street from us next to our gym. So I always smell the food and I always smell the fries. And so I think that's why I crave it um, because I've craved it with Cadence too and both pregnancies I've been living here where I'm currently staying. Um, and I also crave their ice cream. Like I was every day I want a McFlurry or I want an ice cream cone. Um, and the same thing with Cadence. I crave the exact same thing. I also crave with this baby Reese's peanut butter cups and Sour Patch Kids. So like all the bad things <laughs> is what I'm craving with this one. But I don't go get ice cream every single day. Um, not even once a week really. I just, I crave it, but I don't really give into it as much as I did with when I was pregnant with Cadence. So I have a little bit of, um, self-control this time. <laughs> is anything making me queasy or nauseous? Um, no, nothing makes me queasy or nauseous and I'm totally over uh, during my first trimester. I, what made me really nauseous was, um, mac and cheese, but like homemade mac and cheese. And I'm totally over that. Like I can eat anything. I'm fine. <laughs> nothing, nothing grosses me out. No smells or anything. Um, I don't really get morning sickness. I didn't get morning sickness with Cadence and with this baby, I only got it maybe for two weeks and that was it and I only threw up once. So nothing really makes me queasy or anything like that. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, so I haven't had any labor signs. The only thing that I did start having at week like 26 and 27, so towards the end of my second trimester, were um, Braxton Hicks. and. With Cadence, I didn't have any Braxton Hicks, so when it started happening, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, but basically, like, my stomach started to get really hard, um, and it kind of, like, freaked, and it was, like, painful. I thought, like, my stomach was stretching, or, um, I didn't know what was going on. And so I had to, like, Google it, and I, that I found out that they were actually Braxton Hicks. Um, so that's the only thing that's really happened. And I think they started happening because um, I was like dehydrated one of the days. So once they started drinking water, I felt like they started to go away. So I don't know if it was like because I was dehydrated or if it was just, you know, something um, that, you know, how some women get Braxton Hicks. Um, 
but since then I've only gotten them like maybe two or three more times after um after that point at 26 to 27 weeks it's like not a frequent thing at all um, some of my symptoms um number one I would say is tired I am constantly tired but I think that's just part of my lifestyle <laughs> Um, I got frequent headaches during the second trimester, um, and I don't know why. I would drink water, um, I would have to take Tylenol, um, and finally, you know, if I took, like, a little bit of caffeine, I would do, like, maybe, um, a couple sips of soda or, like, get some kind of caffeine in me, and that would usually help it go away, or if it got really bad, I would just take Tylenol. But for whatever reason, I had headaches like twice a week, which I never had with Caden. So that was something new for me. Um, I also, of course, like I've been mentioning throughout this whole video, have um, really bad pelvic pain that started during my second trimester. And um, it has just progressively gotten worse as, as like the bigger that I get as the weeks go on. So that still hasn't gone away. Um, and like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm 33 weeks pregnant. So I've been dealing with it since maybe like 16 weeks. It's been a really long time. I'm just, it's one of those things that I'm just kind of like living with now, I guess. The other thing are leg cramps. There, I, throughout this trimester, um, I've gotten really bad leg cramps, which I never got with Cadence either. Um, I'll get like foot cramps. Um, it'll happen when I'm sleeping or um, if I'm like even just relaxing, all of a sudden I'll get like a cramp in my foot or a cramp in my calf and like the next day it's super sore. So that was something that's been um, different with this pregnancy than with Cadence. I never experienced that before and oh my God, it hurts so bad. So I just try to drink extra water and um, just keep myself hydrated because I feel like whenever I don't drink a lot of water is when like the Braxton Hicks or like the leg cramps kind of like come on. So I just try, try to keep myself really hydrated. Um, but those are the only real symptoms that I've had this second trimester. My belly button popped out at 20 weeks. And so um, by 16 weeks, it was already like halfway out. By 20 weeks, it's it was completely out. So I totally have an Audi and I've had an Audi since I was 20 weeks. So <laughs> that's interesting. With Cadence, um, it didn't pop out until probably my third trimester when I was really close to giving birth. So um, it's it's been really different. This pregnancy, I'm a lot bigger too than I was with Cadence by the time. My wedding rings are still on. Um, I'm not swollen or anything like that. Everything um, still fits. I don't have little sausage hands. My feet aren't swollen. And one thing um, with this one is my feet haven't got really swollen or anything. Um, or they haven't hurt as much as they did with Cadence. When I was pregnant with Cadence, oh my god, my feet used to hurt so bad all the time. And with this pregnancy... Um, they only hurt if I'm like on them for a extended period of time. So um, that's something that's like really different because I think I've gained more weight with this pregnancy than I did with um, Cadence. So am I happy or moody? And I would say that I'm more emotional than moody. Um, I think because going from one child to another there's like a lot of mom guilt that I've been feeling. Um, and just as we get closer to the due date, I'm trying to figure out like how the dynamic is going to be. Um, and then with Cadence's like feeding, you know, her feeding disability and stuff, I kind of start to feel like this mom guilt, like did I get pregnant too soon? Or um, am I still going to be able to help her uh, get through like the feeding disabilities the way that I would if... if she was like my only focus, you know, there's just a lot of um, emotion that goes along with it. And then I feel guilty for not feeling so connected and like being as involved with this pregnancy because I'm so busy um, as I was with my first pregnancy with Cadence. So then I feel guilty for, for this baby, you know, 
we still don't have like a definite name I feel guilty about that and so that gets me really emotional and so I think with this pregnancy it's just been more of an emotional journey um, during my second trimester what I was looking forward to most was the baby sprinkle um, I wanted to do the baby sprinkle because then I would be able to start prepping for baby's arrival um, I feel like for the first like half of my pregnancy it didn't feel real because I was so busy with Cadence with all of her therapy um, and stuff like that it just kind of the pregnancy just kind of flew by and so I felt like once the baby sprinkle hit and I seen all of the clothes and all of like the diapers and everything like that I would finally be able to start really like prepping um, the girls room and like prepping the baby stuff and that would make it feel more real and um, that way I could like start preparing for the baby's arrival order the stuff that I need to order um, get everything together things like that so that's what I was really looking forward to during the second trimester um, so is Cadence excited about becoming a big sister I don't think Cadence really understands that she's becoming a big sister um, I think she's too young to really understand what's going on she is a little rough with my belly um she'll like lift my shirt and try to put like lotion on my shirt when I'm putting lotion on her after like a bath or something and then she starts to try to like hit my belly or she'll um kind of like come and like sock my belly and stuff so we have to tell her to be gentle um we have a friend who just had a newborn baby and you know she'll go up to the baby um and try to like she doesn't hit the baby or anything, but she'll try to like crawl on top or she's really curious about it. Um, but she hasn't like tried to hurt the baby or anything like that. So I think she's just going to be more curious than anything. I haven't noticed major changes in her attitude. Um, she's kind of been a little bit more of a mama's girl. Like she wants to be held a little, a little bit more. Um, but she's like completely a daddy's girl. So nothing has changed. Um, between her and her dad she hasn't seen her dad like holding another baby or anything like that and so I don't think like with me I think she's gonna be like whatever but when she sees like her dad paying attention to another little girl or something like that then I think that's where like the jealousy will come in because she's such a big daddy's girl um I think that that's gonna be like where it kind of like rocks her world or like she needs to get used to it you know um and maybe like that's where the jealousy kind of will come in or whatever um but as far as like for me and the way that she is um with me nothing has really changed between like our dynamics so it's going to be interesting to see how she reacts when we bring home the baby um and i am trying to get ideas on how to introduce her the right way to um meeting her little sisters so if anybody has any tips or anything i would love to hear them if you can leave them in the comment box below that would be great um but anyways that's it for my second trimester it was a big trimester lots of changes um there were a lot of differences between this pregnancy and my last pregnancy um but i mean other than that everything is going really well besides the pelvic pain <laughs> um but baby is developing really well cadence is doing good um i'm doing good for the most part and so we are still due july 4th um and we are very close to picking a name so hopefully by my third trimester update i will give you guys a name um and we'll see when she comes thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed bye